Eco-anxiety is a condition that people are reporting, and it refers to the dread and helplessness that come with watching the impacts of climate change. Water overtaking streets, flooding homes and buildings. Hurricanes are getting stronger as the oceans warm, and we've abandoned the Paris Climate Agreement. The Paris Accord is very unfair. It's easy to feel helpless. So what can an individual person do? So what you can do is, you know, downsize your car, put solar panels on everything, definitely stop showering, get one guitar, keep it on your back. But a, a lot of people don't want to make that sort of whole lifestyle overhaul. And something I found that researchers recently have been studying is the effect of what could really happen if people ate beans instead of beef. So if instead of uh, eating beef, people ate beans. And it turns out the effect could be actually huge. So I know that's not immediately appetizing, but, but stick with me for a moment. I'm confident that America will fulfill the commitments that we have made, cutting our emissions in the range of 17% by 2020 and by more than 80% by 2050 in line with final legislation. We're going to be nowhere near that. Obama was mainly talking about the energy and transportation sectors. He didn't say anything about people going vegan. Making conscious food choices is a place where a lot of ground can be made up by individuals. Researchers recently calculated that we could get somewhere between 43 and 72 percent of the way to those 2020 goals just by making that one change. Beans for beef. Livestock is responsible for a lot of greenhouse gas emissions, mostly in the form of methane. Beef production accounts for around 37% of all human-induced methane released into the air, and methane is 23 times as warming as carbon dioxide. And part of the problem is the amount of cattle feed, often soybeans, that's produced in order to keep up with demands. So that means deforestation. According to the UN, almost a third of land on Earth is used to raise livestock or to feed it. That's the main reason for cutting down the Amazon in Brazil, the world's largest exporter of red meat, to use land to feed cows. But feeding cows beans to create meat for humans is a very inefficient way to create edible protein. So what if people ate beans? And that means you could still eat chicken and pork and fish and all the other things that people should maybe probably be eating less of. Now the researchers who studied the beans for beef scenario, they tried to figure out how that would affect U.S. cropland, and it turns out that could free up up to 42% of it. That's 1.6 times the surface area of California. And that would be good for woody plants, for biodiversity, it would reduce water needs, and it would cut a lot of methane out of the environment. Obviously, I know this isn't going to happen. Everyone is not going to give up beef for beans. But at a time when government policy is emphatically not focused on reducing emissions and addressing climate change, it's worth being reminded that individual choices matter and there are things that you can do. This is You Are Here, an Atlantic series about the science of everyday life. Let us know what topics you want to explore. My name is James Hamblin. Thank you for watching.